A bill at the state capitol to create an active shooter alert system in Texas cleared a major hurdle this week. Texans West Rappaport talks with a lawmaker behind the plant and here's some of his inspiration. Pouring her heart out to a house panel, Joanna Leva says she longs for one more embrace with her teenager. If I would known my daughter would have lost her life that day. I would have hugged her more. Layla Hernandez was killed in the Odessa shooting spree in August of 2019. We don't sleep at nights. We, there's good days or bad days. Odessa Republican Brooks Landgraf filed his active shooter alert system bill with Layla and the other victims in mind. It would piggyback off of similar alert systems used statewide. Local law enforcement would notify DPS, who would send an urgent message to people in the area. So we want to make sure that when you get an active shooter alert on your phone, that it means something. And so one way that we're going to try uh, to do that is limit the geographic scope. The key is speed. DPS says an amber alert can take 30 minutes to an hour to vet, time Texans don't have during an actively violent situation. In order for the alert to be effective, we understand that it must be timely. Landgraf tells me he's working to bring down the initial price tag of close to $8 million by tapping into existing infrastructure. In a session where money's hard to come by, cutting the cost could be key to getting the bill passed. Leva's 18-minute testimony will help. It left lawmakers in tears. Our hearts go out to you and your family. The committee members were so moved, they fast-tracked the bill, immediately sending it to the full House. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. Landgraf says he expects the bill will be debated on the House floor by the end of the month.